Hello, we're back. Patch One Stripe TV Parts. This video today is a perfect example of the ever-changing television technology. This video is directed toward a particular set of minds that want to know. A group of us this week was stimulated again to find more information about the Samsung S Ultra High Def TV. I myself have not done the book study on the quantum dot or nanoparticle panel, nano crystals of green and red phosphorus sheets, blue LEDs, and the term free light, but I was informed that the above combination of components produce lumens or nets about double that of the regular LED, LCD, or OLED panels. Now today, I will just show you these optical components that make up the most awesome picture on the market today, Samsung S Ultra High Def TV. I will take apart this Samsung UN55JS9000 TV. This is a very, very high-end unit. Let's go. Okay, now I've removed the back on this 9000 series Samsung S Ultra High Def TV. And I'm just going to print out a few of the components and then we're going to get on to the meat of this particular video. Uh, up here we have the Wi-Fi module and it's a new version of it as I've stated in a previous video where they have the external extended antenna. Here we have the power supply unit for the LED lights. Here we have a power supply. Uh, this is another PC board. Uh, basically this is where we do the Mini One Connect, so some of you guys may call it the jack jack plate or whatever, but this is where you the one the Mini One Connect connects to the unit for the input of the video. Uh, right here we have our T-Con board. Here we have some very elaborate speaker system here. And I just noticed on this particular one, look at the many tweeters they got on here. So basically, I would say you have a woofer and subwoofer built into this unit. And a matter of fact, yeah, that'll be that. Okay. Now, what we also have here is our P-Jog switch, which is your on and off and a combination function switch. Okay. Okay, now we're going to get to, to the meat of this particular video. Uh, the components that make up this awesome optical system that gives you this brilliant, bright picture. Okay, first I'm going to remove the bezel. Okay. Of course, I've done some pre-work. Uh, now we're going to take a loose the panel itself. Okay, this is the panel. We're going to remove the panel. And now we're to the uh, components of the backlight. Okay, uh, video jumped a little bit. I had to take out another three, the uh, retainer or the housing for the panel. Okay, now we're getting to the, really getting to the meat of this video. And here goes the components. This is one sheet, and this is right below the LCD panel. This 
this is the second sheet. Now, this is our third sheet, which has a sort of yellowish hue to it. Now this is the sort of light fiber type uh, panel and it's got a little thickness to it that the that sends the light spreads out the light because as you can see this particular unit has the LED edge strips on both sides. Now I'm going to take take a loose this next sheet. And now as you can see, this is symmetrical. We got LED edge lights on both sides. So, what I'm going to do now, on this next frame that you're going to get, I'm going to light up the edge light LEDs. Okay, now what I want to show you, as you can see, if you look closely on these LEDs, that they don't have the, your traditional yellow dot, like I spoke about on uh, our discussion this past week. Uh, it's sort of when you take it a loose give this hologrammy looking effect for the lens which is actually white. So uh, what I'm going to do now and to conclude this video is I'm going to go ahead and power up a couple of these LEDs so you can see that in fact they are blue. Okay. Okay, that's one segment. Here's another segment. Okay, can you zoom in on that pretty good? Okay, now as you can see, this is the blue LED that I spoke about uh, this week in our discussion. And I'm going to assume that that yellow sheet may be the uh, the uh, red and green phosphorus sheet that is stimulated by the uh, blue color. So with that being said, uh, I'm going to go ahead and conclude this video and Again, facts without data, rather uh, visual or written, is uh, just our opinion. So hopefully I gave somebody out there something to go on and uh, help some of the other technicians for the curious minds that want to know. And Again, I'm going to give a sh big shout out to Gerald Helms again uh, for uh, stimulating uh, NASDA members to stay current in the ever-changing television technology with his research and support. Thank you, Gerald. Patch one stripe TV parts, we out.